Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do a rider that covers the 90 degree triangles. Now in this proof, in this proof we had used 90 degree triangles and we had proven that they are similar. So this rule is usually called similar 90 degree triangles. If we are given a 90 degrees from the vertex and then it goes down to the hypotenuse side you can immediately say okay we have this triangle and this triangle is similar 90 degree triangles. Now what are they asking us to calculate? They are asking us to calculate the length of BE. Now if two triangles are similar then from our previous theorems we know when we have equiangular triangles their sides are in proportion. Let us take the big triangle, triangle ABC. And let us link it with a smaller triangle. So let's say triangle AEC. Now we already know that triangle ABC is similar to triangle AEC. That was done in your proof of the theorem. So you don't need to prove that. You just need to use the information from it. If we're taking the 90 degree angle, the side opposite the 90 degree is BC. And if we're taking triangle AEC, the side opposite the 90 degree is AC. So what are we doing? We are using the rules of similar triangles and we are specifically using it for this 90 degree triangle. So remember same angles, then we take the side that is across it. So for this A, we got BC and for this E, we've got AC. Now, when we use the two triangles, we know that C was the common angle. So for the big triangle, so remember on top we're putting the big triangle, at the bottom we're putting the small triangle. For the big triangle, if we work with angle C, then the big triangle, the side is AB. And the small triangle, it is AE. Now, what is the remaining angle for the big triangle? The remaining angle is angle B. And the remaining angle for the small triangle was this specific angle, EAC. Now, what side is across B? AC. And what side is across this angle? EC. So can you see how we're using the similar equiangular triangle rules, but we are using it for the 90 degree triangles. Now fill in the information we have. Do we have BC? Yes, we do. The ratio for BC is X plus 3. So we know BC is X plus 3. Then we need AC. We don't have AC. Let us see AB. We have that AB is 2. Then we're going to AC. E, we don't have AE. Then we have AC again over EC. EC is 3. Now what would you notice? You notice that even though we have 3 unknowns, if you pay attention, you'd notice that we have 2 ACs. So let us work with this fraction and this fraction. So we have X plus 3 over AC is equal to AC over 3. That will give us AC squared is equal to X plus 3 into 3. Now, they tell us that we must calculate AC in its simplest third form. Till there, we're basically stuck. So let us wait and see if we can first get BE. Now, if we, got, if we want to calculate BE, with which two triangles are we working? We're now going to try and get BE into the equation. So we have triangle ABC again and then we're going to have triangle ABE. Right now if we're working with the 90 degree triangle for the big triangle the side opposite is BC. So we're having the big triangle on top and the small triangle at the bottom. Then for the small triangle the 90 degree is AB. Then we're taking angle B. Now for the big triangle it is AC and for the small triangle it is AE. Then we take in the remainder 
angles. Now for the remainder angle we have, for the big triangle it's C, that is the remaining angle, and C is across AB. And for the small triangle, it is this specific angle BAE, so the side opposite is BE. Remember, big triangle on top, small triangle at the bottom. Now fill in what you have. Do we have BC? Yes, we do. It is X plus 3. Do we have AB? Yes, we do. It's 2. Do we have AC? No. Do we have AE? No. AB? Yes. It's 2. BE? Yes, it's X. Now look at what we have here. We can solve for x because we have a ratio and we can use cross multiplication. Now by cross multiplication we are going to say x plus 3 all over 2 is equal to 2 over x. If we cross multiply we are going to have x plus 3 into x is equal to 2 times 2 which is 4. We have x squared plus 3x bring the 4 over it is minus 4 is equal to 0. This is a trinomial quadratic equation. So we have x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 4. Now if we are working with a length, it can never be negative, which means that this one is not accepted. BE would have to equal to 1. Once you have that x is equal to 1, let's go back to this equation. We have AC squared is equal to 1 plus 3 into 3, which is 4 times 3, 12. But it's AC squared, so we're going to root it. So we have AC is equal to root of 12. Now if they say they want it in the simplest third form, root of 12 is not in its simplest third form. The simplest third form is 2 root of 3. Thank you for watching.